Hello everyone and welcome to Blockonomics. In this tutorial, we are going to understand how do we test the Blockonomics APIs locally. We are going to understand how do we set up the HTTP callback URL which is required by the Blockonomics in order to send us the response. Let us look at a merchant page. Once you log in to a Blockonomics account, you can go to the Merchants tab and in the settings you have the API key, your account and the HTTP callback URL. This HTTP callback URL is a public URL which is used by Blockonomics to send you the notifications. Let us click on No More to understand when do we need to set up the HTTP callback URL. You can read the points and the third point it states that if you are using a custom website or an API, you need to point this to a server endpoint to get the notifications to a server. Which means that if you are having a custom website and you want to use the Blockonomics APIs in your website, then you have to provide the HTTP callback URL which can be used by Blockonomics to send you the notifications. So if you have a code, if you have a code which is local to a PC and you have some Blockonomics APIs integrated with it and you want to test the code locally without deploying it anywhere, then how do we do so? To understand this, let us look at the various methods which can be used to generate the public URL for our local written code which can be used to give the HTTP callback URL and test your code. This tool helps us expose our local host which is running on a certain port to the public domain where it can be accessed by any of us through the public URL. Today we are going to look at ngrok and local tunnel. Local Tunnel is an open source version whereas ngrok is not. Both of them have their own pros and cons. For example, Local Tunnel provides free subdomain if it is available, whereas ngrok does not support in free version. Let us look at how it works. The step 1 is to download the ngrok or install the Local Tunnel. The step 2 is to open your terminal. And the step 3 is to run a single line command and who you have your connection established. That means that now you will get a public URL which will be actively listening to a certain port of a local host and this port would be the one where you are testing your code. To download ngrok, go to the link ngrok.com slash download and you can download it for Windows or even Mac and Linux. Once you download the zip file, unzip it to a folder where you can remember it. Now your step 1 is complete. In this step 2, you have to open the terminal. So I have opened the terminal. But make sure that you are opening the terminal in the folder where you have unzipped the files. In my case, I have unzipped it in the ngrok folder inside the D drive. If you look at my directory, then you can see that I have the ngrok.exe right inside this folder. Once you have done this, the step 2 is complete and the step 3 is to run a single line command. Now that command is ngrog and then you say http and then you specify the port number on which your public URL should listen to. In my case it is 8000. Now if you hit enter then you can see that in a while my status session status is online and I have been given this public URL which is nothing but a URL which is listening to my local host at the port number 8000. If I copy this URL and open this URL, then you can see that it is opening this page, which is nothing but if I open the local host, then this is the same URL, which is this one. So connection has been established and you can also see that they are providing me the HTTP requests which my public URL is making to my local host. Now, once this is done, you can copy this URL and go to your HTTP callback URL page on the, under the Merchants tab and provide the endpoint which you have created. In my case, I have created slash payments slash receive. 
So this is my HTTP callback URL which I have created from my backend. If I save the changes, then it says that the updated callback URL. Now to verify this, let me click on this price button, assuming that I want to purchase this product. Now it has generated a Bitcoin address and the amount and I have been told to transfer this much amount on this Bitcoin address. The entire payment will be facilitated using the Blockonomics APIs. So let me make a test payment using our test bench. To do a test payment, come under the test bench tab and I have entered the Bitcoin address and the Bitcoin amount. Let us make the payment status as confirmed. Once I generate this test payment, it says that the test payment status has been sent successfully. And now my page has been automatically refreshed and as you can see that the payment status is confirmed and I can see the actual image. That means that the transaction is complete. So this is happening everything on the public URL which means that I am able to successfully test my code using the HTTP callback URL as a public URL which is nothing but a replica of my local version. Everything we saw till now is using the ngrog but everything can be done using local tunnel as well. In case of local tunnel, go to the link github.com slash local tunnel slash local tunnel and head towards the readme. You can install this globally using this command. Once you install it, the step 1 is complete. The step 2 is to open the terminal. Now you can be in any directory, it does not matter because we have installed the local tunnel globally. So I will be inside this directory, inside this directory only. The next thing that is the step 2 is now complete. The step 3 is to run a single line command. In case of local tunnel, the command is LT which is stands for local tunnel and then specify the port like this. My, in my case the port is 8000. Now one optional parameter is to pass the subdomain. Now I want the subdomain of blockonomics. If it is available then I will be given this domain, subdomain. Now if I hit the enter, it has given me the URL as https blockonomics.loca.lt. Now as you can see that that subdomain is blockonomics itself. Now if I hit this URL, then this is a friendly reminder that this website is visited through a local tunnel. Now if you click on click to continue, that means now I have been redirected to the actual page which you just saw now using the ngrog. That means that everything we did using ngrog can now be done using local tunnel. Just it now we can update the HTTP callback URL over here as this one. And now if I save changes and if I do all the transactions then everything will work. So we saw two ways of doing this. Now there can be multiple other tools which can provide you these features. But the whole concept was to make you understand how to do the entire flow. So I hope this video provided you the base that you required to continue using the Blockonomics API locally and test it at the same time without deploying it anywhere else. Anywhere. So with this, I conclude this video. All the links, important links are given in the description below. Do check it out. and. Do not forget to visit our Twitter and Facebook pages. See you again.